What's up guys, Nick here with another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores of Darkness. Last episode, we went through the Hidden Land to get now to the Temporal Tower. The last adventure. Yes, I'm ready. And every five floors, I am saving. Isn't he like an ice type? Alright. Come on out. He is, but he doesn't take a lot... Is he also considered a ghost type? I don't know. Anyway, locating stairs every single time. And yes, I am going to save once I get to the boss. Yes. Temple Tower is actually a... You get over here. Face him. Dick. Why did he take no damage? I don't know. But you, are you going to hit him? Guess not. Nice place though. Here's another one. But you, quick attack, please. Thank you. Oh, cosmic power. Doesn't help you from die. Ah. Uh, Crap. Bud, kill him. Nice. Don't come that way. Oh my god. I hate when I miss constantly. Nice. Move this. Dive. Another move I cannot use. Just heal up. Now I can heal up easily, 17 different times. But yeah, I'm, I said in the last episode, I'm going to try and beat this game. I am going to try and beat this game in one day. The rest of the boat. No. Wrong button. Wrong button. Stop it! I don't know what I just did. Polygon. Porygon there. Wow, I'm not hitting anything. Come on. Okay. Are you gonna step closer, dude? I guess not. Oh, now Bud hits him with something. I have to be an attack three or four different times. <sighs> but you hit him or not. Ah, shit. Slack off. Get him, but you! My god! It's like nothing would hit. So this place is dangerous just for some fact all the Pokemon that's in here. I mean, they might not be that powerful, but. There's a lot of them. I don't think if they had a Reviver Seed and Swords. Probably not. Alright, so... The fifth floor! Saving. And I'm back! From Budman's base. No, Bud's not here. Well, that Bud is. The other Bud's not. Y'all probably wish he was. <laughs> Help with commentary. But, uh... Today, I'm gonna push to beat this guy... Guy... Push to beat this game myself for once. The last like two full let's plays, he's helped me. Um, I don't think I can hit him. Nope. Oh. Ow. Not very effective, but it does a shit ton of damage. Maybe it's in the next one. Nope. Maybe it's up here. I went that way thinking the stairs were right there. There wasn't. Hit him. Oh, Jesus. Wrong. Um, let's do that. But you! Help me. Bye. <sighs> ah, crap. I still do have a, uh, what you call it? Can I still attack? 
No, embargo. Please don't do that shit again. Okay. I was saying, please don't do discharge over and over again. There's the stairs. Dang, there's a bunch of stuff down here. Twist band and zinc bands. What is zinc? Special defense, I think. I don't know. But, uh, we're still going. I'm just going to be glad to finish this game. And, uh, I'll make the announcement on the final episode. If this one is the final episode or not, I don't know. Depends on how long this place is. There we go. And but you! And yes, I do realize I use a lot of the same moves over and over again. I can't help that. I'm actually getting pretty nervous going through this area, because Temporal Tower is the last place. Jeez. Oh, Hit him but you! Or not. Oh no. Yep. I don't think that hits him at all. But you! What's not even gonna hit him? We can't move. Oh, he was paused. I'm still paused. There we go. Glasses. <sighs> Crap. But still has moves? I don't. I have, like, Dig that doesn't do anything to any of these guys. What does that do again? Oh, increases his defense and stuff. Doesn't help against Butchu, though. Oh my god! Nope. Nope. Going through the stairs, because now I can save. Be back in a sec. And I'm back! Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use this, uh... Is it even still here? Probably not. There it is. I need to use it. Because I need as much PP as possible. Oh, crap. Brick break again. Does he have both? Yes. And I missed. Damn it. Um I but you. But yeah, Temporal Tower has all these guys in here. And they're tough. They're really tough. Took no damage. That's ridiculous. I'm looking at his damage compared to mine. Bud is taking a lot of damage. What ability. And he got he got a good amount back. I mean, Kevin, you do gain health while you're moving. I'd just rather sit there for a second. I don't know how many floors this place has. That's why I'm doing every five. Oh, shit. Bud, please do a quick attack. Oh my god, uh... Bud don't have any more quick attacks, does he? I'll hit him! He still turns. <sighs> nice. Why am I still confused? I hate that. I'm still confused after like a shit ton of turns. Slack off. Now I'm not confused anymore.
Nick level up! Two, one, 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 one. And there's the stairs. Uh. Oh my god. Really? Alright, be back in a second. And I'm back. That was bullshit. I just realized I only had 30 health. Get him, but you. Hit the guy that's attacking you. That's help. That's actually pretty helpful. Uh, do I have an Ormberry? Can I give it to Budweiss down? Yep. How are you not dead? Now you are. Alright. I think that's the first time I've actually done the safe state part. No, not giving it to Bud. I need it. Don't need the money. I really don't. Those berries don't help. I'll say, is this a dead end? Oh my god. I hate I hate the Jara dudes. That's it. I hate them. That's one reason, because he does a shit ton of damage when it's not supposed to be that much damage. Take him but you. There. There's my level up back. That's my main fear about this place. There's so many things there here that can kill you. Because enemies are, like, ridiculously strong. And Bud doesn't have any more quick attacks. Look at this. Third, well, that wasn't a lot. But it's been doing a lot more than that. Go down already, Jesus. Really? He hit me and moved! Okay. 86! And I'm back. I've been spending the last, like, I don't know, 30 minutes or longer trying to get to floor 12 from 411. Floor 11. My God! I died so many times, it's not even funny. It's like, it's only that one little strip, and it shows up like four or five different Pokemon trying to kill you. I don't care about what's here. I don't. I'm just trying to get to all the stairs. And I did save state here, and I'm going to save state again once I get to 15. Oh, Jesus. It's these, it's these guys, the blue ones. They piss me off so much. And the thing is, Budchu's not really helping. At all. At all. He just stands there most of the time and gets hit. And when he wants to do a move, he'll do a decent move. Like that. He does a decent move. Issue being, that's it. I've died way too many times to count. And he keeps doing that, too. He, he does dig on Pokemon that can't be hit by dig. Okay, I'm gonna stand right here and wait. Fuck it. A halfway point! Oh, great! Yes, another trimmer. As y'all can tell, I'm pissed off right now. Yep. <clears throat> uh-huh. Okay. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. 
<sighs> it just ticks me off to no end on how long that took. Just from one little strip of an area that you had to kill Pokemon at. That's it. I probably killed about five or six before I could even go any further. Oh, great. Oh, and that move pisses me off. And then he doesn't get any closer. So you have to get closer to him. And I can't move. Okay, oh, then we got the evolutions to all these guys. Not fuck you. Damn it. I don't even think I can hit him from here. If I could, that'd be great. Oh, I can. Good. Super effective, but it doesn't do you much damage. Or any. Okay. Get him. Take him down, bud. Healing up. Really? Re Frickin' really? I don't think this will work. What do you said? Zen headbutting. Okay, it doesn't do a lot, but it took him down. If you see me roll my eyes, uh, I'm, it's pretty much a what the hell moment. Really? You don't have to be that far away from us to hit us? Ha, bitch. No, but you stop. That was wasted. What's this? Can't use roost. It's just, my lord. <laughs> oh, God. But you, please hit him. Don't dig. He doesn't have a lot of HP. Definitely gonna need that. See, money at this point? Irrelevant. So, if you see money, just walk away. Because you're at the end of the game. I mean, money afterward, yes, but if you're doing a Let's Play and you don't plan on doing any post stuff, just walk away from it. It doesn't, the money does not matter at this point. Uh, no, we're not waking him up. That's gonna lead to shit. It's gonna lead to shit. Um, will he wake up from that? No. We have to be like almost touching him for him to wake up. Oh, I was about to say, where is it? And the map's right there. Feeling a little bit better about this area, but uh, that dude's asleep, isn't he? Yep. Okay. We're not touching him. It does a different looking Borgon. But you please hit him. Thank you. Reviver? No. That's a dead end. But you can still quick attack, right? I'm immobilized. Fantastic. Yeah, I think that was the bronze dude that was... Like, right... Shit. Okay. You're gonna see me wasting a lot of moves. Nope, he's still there. See, but you has a lot of power to him. Issue being, he doesn't use the right moves at the right time frames. I don't need the gummies either. The gummies don't do anything, really. <sighs> I'm just trying to beat this game today. Okay, give me a second. And I'm back. Come on. Yeah! One more hit. Okay. Reviver seed? Nope. All the seeds look alike. They don't look any different than the others. Fucking serious. Nope. Seems like... Alright, I'm back fighting something. I hope that's not a continuous thing. Please don't. I'd say, but you please use Thunderbolt. Come on. The moon's not set anymore. And the stairs are right behind all of them. That's what pisses me off. But you, Thunderbolt. Hey, you're not going to hit him with that!
They have like 30 dudes attacking you at once. But she's dead. I use the save state too, and that's the issue. He's dead. Be back. And I'm back again. Jesus. Oh my god. I, st I take one step out and I immediately get attacked. But she has plenty of quick attacks, by the way. Didn't use not one earlier. And yes, I did save state. Why? Because that monster party shit was annoying. Really? Really? Seriously? Can't do a damn thing about it. He's probably going to kill me. But you, come on. Okay. It's like, I'm lacking health. He's just going to stand there. Thank you. Finally. Jeez. Slack off again. This, this place just pisses me off. I'm glad I'll be done with this game soon. Don't know when, just soon. Uh-uh. No. No. Really? Really, asshole? Oh, and there's another one! Fan-fucking-tastic. And Budshu's getting attacked from behind. And doesn't want to hit him. At least he's doing that. Like, the stairs are right there, by the way. But you, you're being attacked on the other side. Worry about him. Did you hit? Why do they miss so many times? I don't understand that shit. Okay. Every three floors now. Every three, I will save state. This is getting ridiculous how many times I've died. Oh, great. Now we're just going to the... Damn it. And the other one can't hit sideways. That's great. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, alright. Brick break, which I don't use anymore. So, eh. What? You know what? Fuck you. Get immobilized. Let's go with every four then. I don't care. Are you fucking serious? What? I'm like right there, and then two Pokemon show up. But you, I'm so sorry. Please don't kill him. Yep. What? Save stating. Alright, I'm back. But you's about to die. Hit him! Hit him! Really? Really? Yeah, he. He moves slower now. That's great. Do you have quick attack? Do you have anything other than Thunderbolt, which you cannot use behind, from behind at least? <sighs> These poor guns, these are pissing me off. He's constricted, but he can move immediately. I don't know. This. Temporal pen. Pe fuck it. Is this the top of the Temple Tower? Clearly. No, this isn't the top. We can just see the top. Yes, we're at the top of it. Hey look, it's Time Gear Peace Place Place Peace Places. Something. This I'm not skipping through because this is actually stuff. Uh, duh!
Edgar, so it's you. You see the destruction of the Temporal Tower. Time stopping? Time. <laughs> Primal Dialga. He's kind of badass. He, he looks badass, at least. Silence. Is this the boss battle? Yeah, he's not listening. Oh, shit. <laughs> boss battle! Pausing. Alright, we are ready to face the Olga. Kinda. Probably not. Yep. What the fuck? He took Bud out with one hit! Like, holy shit. He took Bud out with one hit. It's gonna suck if that's all he ever does. Bud, please dig. God damn it. And I'm back again. I think that's all this guy can do. Ancient power. Oh no. This dude is very, 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 very powerful. You're gonna, probably going to see me press the uh, whatchamacallit button constantly. Please, like, paralyze him or something. Let me guess, I'm dead, alright. Y'all yeah. are gonna see this now, loading whatchamacallit, because this is ridiculous. Do I have anything else I can use? Let's use this. See, so he hits me once. Then that. Then Metal Claw. And Butchie keeps using freaking Thundershock. And yes, he is supposed to be this powerful. Oh shit. Uh oh. What? Oh fuck. Yep. Oof. You miss, bitch. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. You missed, bitch. Oh yes! Fuck you, Dialga. Must be nearing total collapse. The destruction will accelerate until the planet is fully paralyzed. Hurry up! You're a Lexer type Pokemon! Put them all in. There we go. Yay! Yeah, you took too much time, Pika Bud. But you. Was that too late? What? <laughs> has gone. Dialga was powerful shit. Yeah. 
Hi, Dioga. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not going to attack us? Yay! Everything's back to normal. Really? Yay! Everything's back to normal. As far as we know. Teddy Ursa. That boss battle, my god. Huh. I got lucky that he kept attacking me and not Bud. If he would attack Bud, we probably would have lost. Yeah. Barely. It barely survived. And if y'all see a little bit of the, like, emulator screen and all that stuff, it's because when I was trying to save and do something, I kind of messed it up. So, my apologies there. Yay! Can you give us stuff? Ha! <laughs> Nick of time. Thank you. I owe you two. All is not yet as it is. It will take time. Bye, dude. Yes. I would love to save right now. Here's where the sad moment comes in. This is where I... St I hope I don't, like, shed a tear or something. Hear the ticking? They saved the world of the future, and he's going to disappear. Uh-oh. I hope I don't. I'm getting chills a little bit. Yeah, he never told Bud, by the way. He's finally talking to him. Literally talking to him. No! Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna cry. It's a sad moment. It's like you play the entire game. These two have grown, gone gotten a bond together and one of them has to leave damn allergies Ugh. no don't cry Pika bud you have to be strong you have to live you have to go home tell everyone what happened here so that Nothing like this ever happens again. We are going into the live stream. I like the music though. Don't go. I hate the fact that I'm on webcam right now. No! Don't say no. Oh! Oh, he fell to the ground. He's crying. Oh. You bastard game. Make me feel stuff. Jesus. Yeah, my last wish was for him to go home. Th there's... There's the Rainbow s Stone Ship. Oh!
You can see it's slowly going up. God, he keeps fucking crying. And Nick! Pika Bud and Nick Char were the best of friends. And so, Nick and Bud finally succeeded in their mission and saved the world from disaster. Bud parted from the from Temporal Tower. The Temporal Tower. I don't know why they didn't. Traveled across the ravaged, hidden land, rode Lapper across the sea, and safely returned to Treasure Town. Yeah. Bud! Ah! Chenot! Yay! He's, a, he's alive! It's like, everyone, move out of the way. Here comes the big stuff. I'm fat. Upon returning to the guild, Bud told everyone about the journey. About what happened in the Hidden Land, and what took place in the Temporal Tower. And a, about Groval, and about Nick. Of course, Bud also spoke of how the destruction of time was stopped, and how the world was restored to peace. Bud told the story when it, whenever and wherever possible. There's a Politoed over there. Nice. To as many Pokemon as possible. It was a story that had, be, had to be told. It was a story of hope for world peace. It was a story of hope for the future peace. So months passed. Treasure Town returned to its cheerful routines. The scars from the planet's injury slowly healed. And life gradually returned to normal. Or did it? I be doof. Bite off. I call it bite, bite off for the longest time, but it's a doof. It's dinner time soon. Yeah, it's been months now since all this happened. Hey, Krabby. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. It's just like at the beginning of the game where there's bubbles all around and everything like that. Yep. It was when I met Nick. Yep. You saw a Chimchar lying on the ground flexing his pegs. I hope I'm not muted. Okay, good. That was when Nick and I, when, I, when our adventure began. Not really much of a team with only two people, but yeah. Yeah, but she's remembering everything that happened during their adventure. All the good times and everything. <laughs> I remember that fight. That was like one... Or one easy fight. Against a Groudon, of all things. Oh, wow. Oh, we saw this before. Oh. That reminds me of freaking Star Wars, Episode 2. Where they're on the pillars being uh, about to be attacked. There's no giving up now. Well, yeah! They're, they're like hopping around now. Some of these are like, why are we showing these? 
Some of them make sense, but the ones like, oh, we're going in here. Yes, we do. <laughs> My dude's just constantly agreeing. Like, yeah. Back to Bud. No! Pikachu, don't cry! Oh, motherfucker. Like, seriously, th these scenes bring tears to my eyes because it's like, it makes you think, what happens if you lost your best friend that way? Well, not like, but if you lost your best friend after a long battle or something. Oh, poor dude. I wish I didn't feel... The water is sparkly. There's staff credits, but here's the thing. We're not done yet. There's one more thing I want y'all to see. But yes, after that scene, this Let's Play is over. Finally. This is episode, I think, 35, I think. So 35 episodes, the other one took like 60-something, because there's a lot of short ones. But this game has been rather challenging, at least at the end. We're dying constantly. I'm actually glad now that I finally beat the game. But, you know, the first, like, 15 minutes, I seem more pissed off. It's just because all the fighting and stuff is kind of like, oh my god. It's killing me, I don't know what to do, all that. But this game was really fun. I wish I... Oh, I can actually do this. Nope, not by much. There's no but there's no button to press or anything. But yeah. How would you how would you like to play a game like that where it ended where your main character disappears because he saved the world and he had to disappear because he would not exist anymore. But he would actually, but it's very possible that his existence is removed because he changed what was supposed to happen. And yes, I know the It's, it's a weird looking thing, but oh well. Like I said, if I if I do decide to do another one, I'm gonna fix the whole uh, screen problem. I mean, I, hell, I may just keep it that way just for tradition. Stingray. But yeah, um, my opinion. This one had a better one. This one had a better story to me because you're going through time like once but trying to save the world from freezing the other one I think was just what was it basically trying to find out that you're not a poke Pokemon but you're a human that became a Pokemon Super Mario Club but in my opinion out of all the ones I played this one's the best one I played three of the four now Explorers of Time and Explorers of Darkness are the same thing same story, everything. I played the original, of course, this one, and Gates of Infinity. There's one, there's uh, Explores of Sky, which I may do later, but not like anytime soon. I'm not going to pick that one up immediately. Hell no. I usually wait like a couple months until I start up another Mystery Dungeon game because when you play it so long, you kind of get like really, really tired of it. So that one will come in later. And they are bringing up the Super Mystery Dungeon, or whatever they, they're calling it now. It's whatever. I mean, I, th I think that freaking uh, Explorers of Darkness, not Explorers of Darkness, Gates of Infinity actually give you, like, a handicap, because they give you a legendary Pokemon within, like, the first couple hours. A legendary Pokemon joins your team as a permanent member. And it, say, they say very special thanks to Game Freak, because Game Freak's not the one that made this game, they helped publish it. I don't think, really think that Game Freak does, Oh, Satori Iwata. Oh. Satori, I can't pronounce his name right, but, uh, you know, special thanks to him, especially, helping, uh, with Nintendo's success and everything, you know, he passed away a couple weeks ago, you know, the guy was an inspiration to everyone. 
And I, I like to play any game that he has made or helped make or anything. But, like I said, it's not over. There's one more thing we gotta see. Don't tell me to save. Back up to Temporal Tower. I'm making sure I'm recording still. Hey, Dialga. Bud, when you left here, you, when you bid farewell to this place from the Rainbow Stone ship, your sorrow, I felt it's intense even here. And if that is how you feel even now, and if Nick were to share those feelings, I will grant your wish. The world needs you both. <laughs> that is why I will trust you with a gift. I leave to you the future! So, does that mean my guys like drunks? This is my thanks. Please accept it. And I got choked up a little bit. I'm like, oh shit. This is what I wanted y'all to see. This is what made me cry so damn hard when I first played this game. Y'all can think of me as a weenie all you want. It's like, oh my god, he's back! Hi. <laughs> it's like, I'm back. Hug! Hug him! Okay. No words at all. The end. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Darkness is done. There is post stuff, but I'm not doing it. It's just pretty much other things. But thank you all for watching this Let's Play of Explores of Darkness. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, quick, little quick announcement, at least at the end of this. Um, after beating this game, this brings me down to three games. And my working schedule is kind of getting a little bit you know, more increased. So I'll be doing just three games a week. Three episodes a week. So Mother 3 will get one episode unless I feel like doing more, and the others will get their originals, same spots. So, And Mother 3 will replace this on Mondays. So, thank you all for watching this Let's Play. I hope you really enjoyed it, and being in this uh, new Mr. Dungeon journey with me. Um, if you want to see Explores the Skies, or whatever they called it, uh, let me know in the comments below. I will put it under consideration for games that I bring into new Let's Plays and all that stuff. But, I will catch y'all in the other Let's Plays, of course. Thank you for watching. See you later.